What up, Joes and Jays? Toy Kind of Mood, Travis Moody here, and here to present to you the G.I. Joe Classified Series, Parth Vama, a.k.a. Wolf Spider. Now, this is a brand new character. We've seen mole rats, we've seen different versions of characters like the Arctic Bat and Valkyries, and some modifications along the way, but this is the first all-new character. And just some hi history on Parth Vama, our new buddy here in the Night Force. The original intent for Parth Vama was going to be an army builder. But you know what? They had so much fun doing it, and building it, making it, loving the design, that they decided to give Parth his own code name, his own character. Instead of Wolf Spiders... It was the wolf spider. So he's got a unique personality. And I'll tell you what, it's better for collectors. We don't have to army build this one if we don't want. It saves us a few bucks. But let's get right into the review. Of course, our buddy Parth over here, Varma, is a Walmart exclusive. And before anything, I got to give a major shout out to Return of the Nerd Toys, Gary. I mean, he's kind of making headway in the Joe community on Instagram. Go give him a follow. He's also got a great, wonderful website. Lots of things to purchase and buy featuring Star Wars, G.I. Joe, you know, the vintage collection, classified series, black series, whatnot. Go check him out. Go support him. And thanks so much for getting me this nice, almost exclusive, <coughs> but you <mean. laughs> almost, but it is the first review, I believe it hit the net where it wasn't purchased on eBay. <laughs> but anyway, honestly, B's review gave me so much headway that it was, it was nice. I was able to learn some things or two by not going number one and going number two. So appreciate that. But look, first and foremost... We have a brand new character. Unfortunately, we don't have a head sculpt to go with that brand new character. Now you could say we have Snake Eyes, barring his OG look, Scarred look. We have Firefly. We, there's plenty of, you know, Storm Shadow, of course, if you don't have Billy. There's plenty of other characters out there that don't quite reveal the face. But I think in a first time, especially one that is of Indian... Um, background I would have had a new face sculpt here's in the some of the alternatives um first recommended to me shout out to Black Genghis was Kingo from the Eternals Marvel Legends but then we just had some reveals this past week if you missed it go check out Toy Kind of Mood we reviewed the Ahsoka fan stream but anyway Ezra Bridger I kind of like this one I don't mind this face sculpt uh, it to me, it's better than you know Kumal Nanjini butchering that name, I'm sure. But unfortunately, the head sculpt for Ezra is not quite the Ahsoka one, the Eman Esfandiet one. But hey, you know what? If you want to bring some life and some character, and it doesn't quite look like Ezra on the show, might as well go with that. But let's get into the figure, right? I mean. If anything, when this bad boy becomes mainline, maybe we'll get an all-new sculpt. Remember, this is Night Force, and of course this is 109. Just to take a look at the box, we've got the score there, the logo, some cool art. Now, this one didn't come out with some without any QC issues, so we'll get into that a little bit. But um, yeah, 109, as you can see, hit that QR code, it will take you nowhere. Yeah, Asbro Pulse site, but uh, thanks to my friend B, I didn't have to look up his attributes, which are security, small arms, infiltration, rescue, basically an MP, so, you know, expect that with Shockwave that we're getting pretty soon, and Law and Order, so, yeah, he's a military police from what we gather, but he seems like a paratrooper on the cover, and here's the deal, right? The yellow. This is the most polarizing feature on our friend here, Parth Vama. 
and there's a lot of reuse. It's all reuse minus this wonderful sculpt. And we'll go over the accessories in just a bit. But the yellow, hmm. You know, I think it gives this character some life. Maybe there was no yellow when he, he was an army builder. And they were like, yeah, let's make him a character. He'll pop. We've got the dragonfly coming out. There are accents of yellow on the HasLab dragonfly. And of course, they have ripcord and crazy legs. Now, while those don't feature yellow, maybe this is to kind of help him pop among the Night Force ranks. Of course, traditionally, Night Force ranks are dark gray. And we'll get into some color contrast in a little bit, too. But uh, as you can see, it's he's got the wolf spider logo there. And um, we'll compare. And right now, let's just get right into that. Our friend Falcon. And it is the same exact backpack. It is the same. Actually, it was harder for me to plug in the antenna than this one, but it worked. Same knife. We'll show the knife in a bit. But as you can see, same backpack. Reuse, right? Hey, it's a Walmart exclusive. It's all reuse. I mean, that might be a good thing or not. And uh, yeah, of course, blowback. Much better face sculpt than what they offered. But check out the Gizats. Rifles, as B pointed out, there is a QC issue on the lever. Yep, it doesn't fold down. So we must have got it from the same factory in, uh, in China. As you can see, there's brown accents on Falcons, a darker green. This is almost like a brighter green. I'm really loving the green on the vest, as you can see. Um, man, Falcon looks like a cool character when he doesn't have a bad, bad face sculpt, huh? But uh, yeah, we'll also go into more some more mold and sculpt and pieces as far as he is. But uh, the rest of him is a different character, but the shoddy. And, you know, we'll go into some more to some alternatives. You don't want him to have the same shotgun. Well, you know, we love our good iron studios. So uh, let's get into the next segment. All right. So we are back. I experienced a very loose head for parth here on here the helmet does help a bit i have some issues with this helmet first of all there's it's wonky i'm very nervous that this band would snap especially since this is hot off the factory press so i'm very careful this is extremely delicate the way you plug that in so you know, a little worried about that um, the goggles don't quite fit so snug there. Um, as you can see, they're kind of, they don't really just lock in, you know, they're kind of loose. Um, yeah, it's becoming quite problematic. Um, but I do dig the helmet and, you know, as a Michigan Wolverine fan, I mean, it's not quite go blue, but that maze stripe is very similar. So happy about that. <laughs> of course, the kickoff tomorrow for college football is happening happy labor day weekend be safe everybody but uh yeah it's just um the face sculpt um as b talked about yeah it's not quite cobra eel it isn't cobra officer so that's a good thing it's all new and we'll take a look at that in a sec but i just wanted to show you guys the helmet and all the detail really spent some time with that but yeah i hope when you guys get it from walmart if you ever get it and it's not canceled and your boxes aren't shredded to sh um, you know, you get it, but this is fixed. But yeah, as of now, I don't know. It's not so bad. Okay, so that's funny. After playing with it for a little bit, now the head is locked in. So <laughs> yeah, now it's locked in and I can pose and have no issues. As you can see, it's, it really is a nice, beautiful skull. Pretty standard though. Hard to show a lot of personality when... You know, it's kind of just a straight age look, and that's why. And I, I think it could, I think it could fit that that Ezra. Um, you know, it's all oh, the now. Yeah, that's the key. Don't go in all the way. Now it's loose, but as I pull up a little bit, now it's tight. Very cool. So it's just a good look. And we were going to talk about other pieces and beachhead. And look what I did. Gave it a gridiron scuba loadout, so you don't have the same vest. Uh, but no, I did that before, but as you can see, I don't really want to take off the, I'm sure other people do it, but, uh, there you go. There's a good look at the vest and the colors there. As you can see, there's red accents compared to the black and blue. And as you can see, 
Parth Varma is really gray. He's he, his early pictures. I thought it was kind of like green. Um, but yeah, let's take more of the vest. Let's see. Well, it's one to one. It's reuse. And um, if you're gonna do reuse for a new character, I guess the Walmart exclusive is not the worst place in the world. So I was talking about the color. It does look like green at times. It is gray in hand. I mean, it is gray, even though it does look like a little bit, as you can see, we got a turquoise and that that might be able to show you how gray it is because it does, does look like green with a lighter green, but I'm feeling gray. Unless I'm just completely colorblind today. I don't think I'm all the way colorblind, but there you go. I wanted to show you guys that. And then we have, um, of course, the body and scrap iron. Um, you know, it's dusty. It's uh, stalker, I believe. Retro snake eyes. There's a bunch of other characters, but you know, great bod to use. So, you know, very nice. As you can see, vinyl textures in the legs. And he's got some good loadouts, some good sides. Side cargoes and everything. Yeah, yeah, boots look similar too. He just doesn't have the red stripe. So there you go. There's that. In comparison, a little butt shot. It's got the cargo pockets. Yep, it is the same. Uh, one more element to the face skull. It's this uh, splinter cell. Metal Gear, you know, cyborg kind of thing. And um, yeah, it really almost, you almost have to take the the sculpt off to get a really good look. But I love this. It is cool. And it looks really good, actually, instead of just talking about it, to show it. And it's what the review's for, Travis. But uh, yeah, I love when the kind of the antennas kind of looks cool. Kind of a Star Wars type deal, but uh, still very grounded. All right, so we got the standard knife. Sidearm pistol. It's very, very simple looking pistol and knife there, but uh, and not a whole lot to it, right? Just, I mean, m most of the time it's going to be your sidearm. You're going to have this bad boy carrying some weight. So let's get into the weight. What do we want him to carry? This is for all my accessory fans. So let's go big to small. As you can see, this green doesn't quite match that green. It's pretty big. That's a heavy, right? So, sort of a master key type deal there. Um, yeah, probably not going to work. And the green doesn't match. But, these were some of my choices. We'll go a little smaller. Grenade launcher. Vector. And uh, this is Gridiron Studios. And I'm digging that. The green's a little different. Oh. It's the thing about these vectors, they come come in pieces, so, which is a good thing. Um, yeah. But you get the deal. A little bit different green, but pretty close. Right? I love it. You know, it's it's a might be a little too heavy for for a guy wolf spider. You figured wolf spider is more. So if that's the case, and that's a little too heavy, how about this this vector? This came with that um Boba Fett uh, loadout that they did. And uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it. It's light enough where he can grab onto something. You know, I mean, on the box, he's got his shoddy haloing down, and this is a little tinier. So, yeah, I like it. It's got the suppressor on it. That's a cool gun for, for my guy, uh, Pharma. Let's see if we can get a nice looking grip here. I did not even try this before uh, <laughs> going on here, so I'm just kind of winging what weapons I would want to use from Mark Stillman, Gridiron Studios. But uh, let's take a look. Yeah, that's pretty badass. I'm sure. I mean, oh, there we go. That's cool. That's cool. I dig it. I dig it. It's it's Night Force. It screams Night Force, right? Um, let's go through some other options. Of course, he comes with. A shotgun, so let's go with some shotties. It's thinking like more of the the shorty, shorty shotties. A little something cut down. Two hands, that look good. You know, anything kind of you know, you get think about it, right? He's got the 
MP attributes that we talked about, security, small arms, infiltration, rescue. So yeah, that that quite work. There's a couple more from the same pack. Again, shout out to Gridiron Studios. You know, you you ball sucking leech you. How dare you? Uh, but yeah, that's that's cool. All these cool. All these are cool. All these work. And you know what? They're just sitting around in my. Uh, I think I'm just gonna give Wolf Spider all these. He's gonna come with a shoddy accessory set. And uh, yeah, yeah, he's kind of a shockwave, right? Kind of a shockwave that would come with the dragonfly, like the dragonfly shockwave. Uh, you guys tell me. You tell me what narrative. Or talk to me, Lenny. You tell me. But uh, yeah, I hope you like um, those accessory choices. And uh, yeah, I don't know what else we got to say about our guy. I mean, probably that, you know, I, I would say mainline. It does come. Oh, I almost forgot. It does come with this silly, silly rope. I mean, I don't even want to untangle this. It's more of a more of a pain than anything. Uh, it's just rope. It does not come with shipwreck's hook, which at least, you know, this might be quite, you know, uh, battleship, navy, whatever, but it's a grappling hook. That would have been a nice. So I want to see some adjustments. I'm getting, I got some loose legs, of course, as far as reviewing, very nerve wracking to get something from Taiwan and try to do like the double knees and like, you're just, I'm just scared something's going to snap, but there I was able to do it, double knees. You got your butterfly joints, right? I mean, you guys know the deal. The classified is the articulation is great. You got your double elbows too. You're pinless. Yeah, pinless. So Walmart's getting a good one. I mean, just take a final look at the aesthetic of it. Really wish this rope... I mean, it's silly, right? You get the green rope, and then you get this. It just doesn't make sense. They just threw in a piece of thread. So, I mean, how are you guys feeling about this? I mean, with the Falcon accessories, beachhead vest, scrap iron bod, you know, uh, as we said in, in, in Falcons, shoddy and, and, and backpack. I mean, how are we feeling about our friend? And um, just to give it another look. I'm really nervous about this. I am nervous. I am not doing that on air. That would just be bad. I am going to sneak it. Yeah, you got to... It's weird, right? Because it's... You want the calm. So this is this is kind of the stuff that you guys should really see anyway. So, yeah, you want the calm to be near the mouth. But you don't... And you want the chin strap kind of underneath can be a little more loose since he's kind of hopping off a heli but yeah there you go wanted to give you guys another look and this does come off man i am really nervous about this stuff yeah there we go okay not so bad it's not yeah there you go just give him another another look there but uh i mean overall i mean i'm not gonna really it's not i'm you know i'm getting it straight from china so as far as like the loose legs um they're, I mean, how many Joes have we had with loose legs? They're not too bad. They're a little stiff, actually, in the knees. So it's more like the drop-down hits that we get there that are loose. But that's kind of, that's a main line. That's a main thread that's running through classified. Um, the other joints are fine. I haven't quite done the double elbow. There we go. Okay. And then, yeah, I mean, I don't know about this head. I think I have to, like, I don't know. It's just, just weird. And then just the way this doesn't lock in. But aesthetically, I love it. I love the yellow. I'm biased. Michigan fan, go blue. I mean, I dig it. I dig it. I think it pops out. Parthvama, the wolf spider, pops out. It'll fit great with Dragonfly. I think that might have been an intention as an, as an army builder for the Dragonfly. And they just said, now nah, it's just, hey, give me, you know, give me a unique heritage and unique background. And maybe we'll see more from our friend Parth Vama down the line. Hope you love this review with Toy Kind of Mood. Please like and subscribe. Check us out every Wednesday. This Wednesday, we'll probably be reviewing all these, if I can, with my buddy Apathy, returning big time MC, hip hop rapper Apathy, who's got some Joe music on the way, actually. So you'll be wanting to. And he's going to have his OG Joes while I kind of showcase these. It'll be a kind of a 
kind of a part in the interruption. Then we'll be back on Saturday for a toy kind of mood at night for Marvel Legends recap. But uh, yeah, for Travis Moody, toy kind of mood, and we'll see you in the toy aisle or the mailbox from Taiwan. Once again, thank you, Return of the Nerd Toys.